So people are generally familiar with scoliosis in kids. Um, that's something we hear about and, uh, and a lot of people have seen. But scoliosis is, is also an increasing problem in adults. Um, sometimes that's a curve that developed as a child um, but didn't cause any problems and just progresses um, into adulthood. Sometimes those curves get worse um, as someone's an adult. Um, but very frequently, uh, older adults develop curves that didn't exist at all um, when they were children. In children, scoliosis is treated just based on the size of the curve. If your curve is big enough, then it needs to be fixed. If it's, if it's relatively small, it's left alone. Um, that's not how we treat scoliosis in, in adults. It's based on symptoms. So you can have a pretty big curve. If it doesn't cause problems, we generally don't do anything about it. Um, but in adults, um, at times, you'll, people will develop significant symptoms, severe leg pain, difficulty with walking, severe back pain uh, associated with the scoliosis, and that's what really drives whether someone would need treatment. So obviously, for uh, people with scoliosis and symptoms, you want to uh, try the, the non-surgical treatments, and often the simplest treatments might be the most effective a frequent problem in older patients is that they're very deconditioned, they're just not in good shape. And often what we try to do is improve their core musculature. A lot of times we'll use therapy in a pool, water therapy as a way to approach that. Other kind of activities that include core strengthening uh, tend to be helpful. As people get older and develop a significant scoliosis, they get out of balance and they have trouble standing and walking. Um, because their spine is no longer balanced. And that's a really frequent um, problem that might um, drive uh, the need for treatment. Uh, it, people used to think that it was the size of the curve, sort of the amount of curve in the frontal plane, um, as you look at them in the front, that, that was sort of the main problem. But we've we learned over time, and this center and the work we've done here has had a lot to do with that understanding um, nationally and internationally, um, is that it's really what happens in the side view, kyphosis, the bending forward, that's the biggest problem and the symptom that's um, most difficult to tolerate.